just got home from a trip and I realized that I have never given you guys a maple farm tour. So we're gonna head down to the farm now and I'm going to show you around. Dad just pulled in front of us with the sap truck. So we're gonna start right there. Start at the truck. going to follow him right to the farm. I haven't seen dad now in a week, which is crazy because I was seeing him every single day. But I just got back. A little dusty around here. The snow all melted. Grass is greening up, which means maple season is almost over. You can get to mow our lawn. Oh, oh, and there's the other one. There's my little brother. <laughs> That scowl. The gang's all here. Tell me what you're doing. Walking. Day out today. <laughs> it's about uh 42 and sunny. Come on in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this right here right now is our current sugar shanty that we're making maple syrup in. And here are where our reverse osmosis machines are. So this one right here is our older machine, but we still use it. And then we also have the new one that's back here and dad's about to start it up because he just brought a truckload of sap down. Just starting up the RO. Just brought a load of sap in a few minutes ago. Sap's 49 degrees, 48, drop the degree. Now I'm gonna increase the pressure, squeeze it down a little more to take more water out. Right now I'm taking about half the water out with one pass. And then after a while, it will, it will increase, so it will take about 80% of the water out. This is where we currently produce our maple syrup. We always refer to it as the sugar shanty. So this is our old sugar shanty, and this is one of the last days we are going to be here because in 2022, we will be producing in our new building. So when you look around right here, when you first walk in, you can see the evaporator. We got our evaporator from CDL. When you walk around the side here, you will see where we have an automatic draw off for our maple syrup. So once it gets to temperature, it draws off into these two tubs where it then gets pushed to the filter press and into the barrels. So nice, easy process. And if you look up top, you'll see some elk antler chandeliers. These are actually real elk antlers. My brother made them by hand. The one on the right was his first one ever that he made. He just likes to tinker around. And then the other one was his second one he ever made and they turned out really well. We've had them in here now for probably, I don't know, close to 10 years. I bet you it's been 10 years. So those We'll probably be moving, actually he's planning on disassembling them and building new ones for the new shanty, or for the new maple house. Every time I say it, call the new maple house a sugar shanty, my dad and brother always correct me because they don't want to call it a shanty. I'm not sure why, but yeah. So if you talk to them, I guess don't call it a shanty. But yeah, those chandeliers will be moving up to the new maple house.
up here at the future home of Boston Maple. Dad and Warren are up here. It's actually, the season is winding down to an end. We're shutting off this wood today. So this is gonna be our last load here for the season. Shut the woods off. Let's head inside. Our building is timber frame, as you can see. And we just got the windows in last week now, or actually I think it was two weeks ago. So just got the windows in on one side and the other side is going in next week. So soon we'll have windows all the way around. Our windows up top are in. You'll be able to see them better from the outside. So I'll show you from the outside. And then we gotta finish the inside. Here's a couple options for ceilings that we're playing around with. And so my brother put them up so he can decide, see if he likes the look of those or if he wants to change it up a little bit. And I'm gonna show you I guess where everything will be in here. So when you look back towards the entryway here, we have a loft. This way, all the kids, when they're boiling maple syrup, they can just hang out, have fun up in the loft. If they get tired, they can go take a nap, go to bed. Sometimes boiling maple syrup turns into some really late nights. And then over here, we're gonna have our evaporator. You can see on the floor and our press here. And then in the back, this will be where the storage is. We have our barrel room and our reverse osmosis machine will be back here. This is all of our equipment for bottling the maple syrup. And that's it. I will do a more in-depth video of this building once we get it all completed and the equipment in. But I just wanted to give you a little overview, show you what's going on. And the floor is coming along. It was extremely dirty but Warren cleaned it up a little bit while I was away. Once everything gets kind of finished, we'll uh, really shine up the floor, make it look good. Here's another look at the windows. Just to give you an idea of how big the timber frames are. Yeah, can't reach my arms quite around them, but almost, let's see. Oh wait. Actually, I lied. I can touch. I can reach all the way around them, but they are pretty large. And it's starting to look really good. And it'll look a lot better once it's done. So let's head to our next area. At our new building, we have three silos. So this building is connected to one of our largest woods. And all the sap will run directly into our silos. So our silos right here, let's see if you can see them. I chose the wrong spot to try to cross over. It's just pure mud right now. <laughs> but let me get to a better position here. All right, so here's our three silos. They all hold 20,000 gallons. Two of them, the two closest to the end of the building, are going to hold the sap. That's for sap storage. The third one, the one closest to me, will be holding concentrate and permeate. 
And here's a look at the building from the outside. It has been a project. So we were hoping to be producing here this year for 2021, but everything kind of got held up last year. So the project, the build did not start until later in the fall. And of course, that's when everything starts getting busy. So we don't even have electric here yet, <laughs> but we're hoping that we can finish it up this summer in this fall. And that way by next spring for maple season 2022, we'll actually be here producing in our new building. Fun stuff coming. Let's go check out one of the other silos. We are now up at one of our other woods. And as you can see, we have another silo. So we have a total of five silos and this is the biggest of all the ones we have. This one holds 30,000 gallons of sap and the other ones you saw, the three of them, those held 20,000 and then we have one more that holds 10,000. And then at our other woods, we just kind of have holding tanks. So yeah, we have five silos total. I had to think about that. I had to recount in my head. So let's take a look inside of the silo building. The silo is located at our other woods, such as this one and our other silo, which holds 10,000 gallons. Both have buildings on the outside of them, or are connected to buildings, I guess I should say. So let's look inside here. This leads to the silo. This is the door to the silo. And once we empty all the sap, we just hop in there and clean it. So you kind of got to see how you clean it at the new building where the water pumped up and then it almost is like a rainfall coming down, but someone actually gets in there as well and scrubs it down. We do this throughout the entire season to make sure the sap stays clean. But yeah, so this is what it looks like, our building attached right to our silo. And then we have our pumps, so when the truck comes, just back up, hook it up, pump the sap from the silo into the truck and haul it back down to the farm. I'm just gonna show you one pump house. We have many different house, pump houses throughout our property, which I'll do another video on that where I show you each pump house. But for that video, I'll bring along an expert, my brother, who set them all up. So he can tell you everything about each one. quick little tour of our maple farm and I figured I show a lot of videos of the woods but not actually of our buildings so I just wanted to take you around show you the buildings a little bit so you can get an idea of what the whole operation looks like our maple season is quickly ending there are tons of other producers that have already pulled their last spouts and our woods are getting to that point we actually shut off three woods so there's only two left and we got about probably only one or two days left of making maple syrup. Thank you for coming on my tour of Boxler Maple Farm. I know it was just a quick overview. I wanted to show you the buildings and kind of a little bit of everything we have going on. So if you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. There'll be much more coming soon. See ya.